just like the paw of a cat. Some flush of the lip over there. As uh, we uh, saw last week, I was lazy, so I came and saw Mike again. Forgot his ice cream, melted. Uh, he's quickly going to help me just uh, use the machine to spool the Saltiga 5000. So we're going to put two four th uh, 20 pounds, two sp spools of the four strain, and then one of the eight strain. There we go. Cool. You didn't bring the outfit. No, no. The I can take outfit. this off if you want. Maybe we should do you want the views to go up or down? <laughs> Say at the bottom. <laughs> okay guys, so how we're going to do this first is we put the top shot on first onto the reel and then we fill the backing on uh, on top of that until we get it nice and flush and then we cut that and reverse it from this spool onto the spool we're going to use. There we go. It's a bit of a procedure but luckily the machine is here. And a bit of mono. Yeah. Oh, just around the base right. of the spool. Because you know I like it. Yeah, I know you like it. Like that. Until you bring my ice cream, you're not getting one. I brought you order. <laughs> oh, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we just tape it onto the bottom. Just so when we reverse it, it comes off very nice and easily. Put the machine into a forward. Use our nice trusty gloves. You want to just put enough pressure on there to make it nice and tight onto the spool. And basically it's just a big sewing machine, it's got a little bit more torque in it and you operate it the same way, it's got a pedal at the bottom there and we can do forward and back. Now that's the top shot. And we're just going to do Bimini in the back of this and we'll join it with a cat's paw between the two. See, you must, when you come here and you let Mike do this, <laughs> if you lose a fish, you come back. Yeah. It's, his, it's his fish he lost. Yet to think, lose one, so it's fine. I think uh, it might just take one, eh? Oh, we'll see. It looks like. That's the important bit about doing the, the top shot first, is that you can then get the reel exactly how you want it. The cat's paws and knot that weaves the two together increases the surface area of the knot so your braid doesn't cut through itself. Also, we've had a hell of a lot of success with this knot. We've used it for pretty much everything. Nice and small. Compact, if you see that, I mean, it's a beautiful little bimini. It makes a nice double loop section. Do the same in the backing. You want to do around about between 20 and 30. I like to do 26. Just a bit of superstition. Okay, think. Okay, so guys, so then we just overlap the two and we wind them 10 times through each other. Ten. And then we just pull it nice and slowly together. You see it makes a knot that looks just like the paw of a cat. Can I? No. Carry on here. Guys, now the 20 pound J braid is phenomenal. It breaks over 40 pounds. That's insane. Absolutely insane. So you've got that very thin diameter already, 20 pound. You can cast a mile, but you've got a braking strain of over 40 pound. So guys, often the question we get asked is why don't we fill these reels by hand? Isn't it going to have an issue with the spacing or the, the actual line lay itself? The uh, answer to that is if you buy a Daiwa, you don't really have to worry about those kind of things. So, we don't have issues when it comes off the machine. And, yeah. So, what we're just going to do is a little slim beauty over here. So, I just got violated. <laughs> just doing that. 
and you've seen the videos on these, it's, it's an easy nut. Very strong knot that can go through the guards if need be. You never really have to worry about doing so. Okay, let me just fold this up until it's nice and flush. And then the nylon just bites nicely onto the spool, holds it. You won't ever get any slippage. Just overfill it slightly because when we tighten it down from the one spool to the other, we are going to get a bit of it to bite down a little bit harder. Okay, it's nicely now. That's in complete reverse order. So now this is going to be right at the bottom and the back, the inter, you're going to go that, the backing and then the top shot. If we, if we didn't have another spool for this reel, we'd have to then go into a spare spool, another spool and then back onto here. Luckily with this, we can take it straight from here onto the actual spool itself. Like magic. Lock that into position. Check that it's spinning right. Percent. Now the knots for joining your line onto the spool itself. There are many different versions you can do. Most people just do a figure of eight. I like looping around once and then doing a uni knot. But doing it onto so it sits in line and nice and flush. So you're basically just folding the line back on itself. And then when the uni tightens, instead of sitting, your knot sits up like this, now it's sitting nice and flush with the spool. So when the line goes on, it just sits beautifully on there. Never gets in the way. This is some Dawa tournament line that we put on the back. Now we find a glove that doesn't have a hole in it. Trust the glove. And then when we're spooling these on, you're using your thumb just to hold in that gap there and using your middle finger into there, being careful not to touch the spring. So that can cause a little bit of pain when it goes through your finger. And then this, we're just gonna, you apply pressure by squeezing the two together, getting it nice and tight on there. Hey, I'm up. And you can tell them how hot that spool is. You. <laughs> Anyone got eggs to cook? We're ready. And there we go, guys. That's perfectly filled, nice and flush with the lip over there, and that's sitting. No, you can't fill it better than that. It's bloody mouth. Oh, hey? It's really too fast. And this, if you do it by yourself, that would take, you know, if you've got two spools, yeah. that will take you a good hour and a half, an hour. And your yeah. missus complaining at you because you can't hold the thing tight enough, yeah. burning the kitchen rag that you used to put against it and then causing another fight. Oh, no, there's a couple of shops <laughs> that got the machines inland as well. I think yes. it's all out hanging now. All out does, yeah. And then, yeah, but... it's you guys, a couple of other shops that can do it for you as well. So just find your local tackle store and they'll yeah. be able to assist you with that. Very Otherwise, come ask Mike, but it's ice cream. Cost you an ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Vanilla. <laughs> now I must just go. Place this reel with the first fish. Hasn't caught a fish yet. Thank you very much. There you go. <laughs>